Hello there folks and welcome to Power Playground. Today I'm going to be showing you a cool little invention I've made here. It's for sale on 3dshapeengineering.com, link in the description. And you can also get the model on Thingiverse if you wish to 3D print it as well. Basically what it is is a screw head sand jig. And it's really cool because you can take a screw like this here and you can sand down the head to be a lot thinner than what it currently is. It comes with two bolts of the proper size. You basically order, the, the jig comes in a three pack because uh, if you're doing multiple screws, you'll want to have multiple of these because once they uh, warm up here, it's pretty hard to uh, take it off the actual, to take the bolt off the actual jig. So. All right, folks, just want to interrupt here real quick and show you all how to set up this tool. First off, we have the jig, we have our bolt. I want to stick the bolt in the hole. Basically, the part that's sticking out should be lined up where the head is or else your fingers will be too close to the sander or the grinder wheel. Then we'll want to stick in the first nut in the hole and partially thread the screw through it. Then we'll want to take our second nut and do the same thing. And you'll want to thread the screw in until it pokes out the back side. Okay, so that's about enough, about a centimeter or so, about a quarter, a half inch, should be fine. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to take two sets of pliers, needle nose preferably, and you'll want to tighten the screws into each other. And this will hold the nuts together so the object will spin freely. Now that we, I've shown you how to set up the tool, let's go ahead and cut to it in action. Let me go ahead and give you all a bit of a demo of how this works. Of course, uh, there are going to be multiple sizes here, and in the future I'll give uh, an option to custom order a size. So now what you'll need in order to use this tool is either a tabletop sander like this or a tabletop bench grinder. Let's go ahead and fire it up and I'll show you all how to um, sand down screws. And there you have it folks, as you can see the screw is now sanded down, it's a little bit warm. Probably should uh, definitely recommend wearing gloves if you have them, I lost mine here today. But uh, yeah of course they, the part does wear down a bit after a few sands here, this one I've been using for quite a while. But it's overall pretty durable, uh, pretty hard to break, yeah, I definitely don't want to touch that screw, it's pretty warm. But yeah like I said it's going to be coming in a pack of three, going to be reasonably priced here, uh, just check the website for more information. If you are interested in buying one of these here, this is for an M5 screw or 5mm uh, thick threaded screw. But I'm going to have many sizes available, both metric and imperial here. Um, and of course, like I said, eventually there will be an option to custom order a particular size. Once I get the, uh, process, or get the ordering process taken care of here. So definitely uh, check out the links in the description if you're interested in this tool here and have a good day.